Hey, check this out. I made you a little thingy. It's been a while since I made a social media pop-up template. So I went in Photopea and created this. Well, you want to go to photopea.com, click on templates, type my name in the search bar, and you should see Borg. That's what I called it. Borg social pop-up slash panel, because it can be used both as a social media pop-up, but also like a Twitch panel. If you want to, you can click on it and there you have it. Okay. I'm going to explain how you can customize it and how you can save the images. First of all, you're going to want to turn off this thing that says, turn me off. Ooh, there you go. Turn this off. You turn off the background. Okay. Got transparent background. That's cool. You're going to have your text right there. If you want to modify it, just double click beep, beep. here. You want to select if you want to keep the color on the at, or if you want to keep the at, just select that part and then type your name, whatever it is. Okay. And then you will have something called color. That is an adjustment layer, which is a hue and saturation adjustment layer. In this case, you want to click on this little icon. It will bring it up and you'll find the hue. Just play around with it. You can give it whatever color you want that way. And on top, you're going to find a couple of examples of icons. Like there's YouTube. I put X, there's Twitch, Instagram, uh, threads, Patreon. Apparently their logo doesn't look like that anymore. And Discord. So all you have to do is basically keep that panel open. You want Discord. You're going to find the colors of Discord and then you can file export as PNG save and congrats you created a discord panel it's downloaded and you can open it Ta -da! now maybe there isn't all of the icons that you want and in this case it's uh, pretty simple you can just go to google and find the icons you're looking for let's say you want to share a playlist you would look up spotify logo you can find one that is actually transparent i'm going to right click click copy image go back to photo p Go all the way to the top here and press control V for paste. All right, it's a little big, so I'm going to control alt T to transform. Bring this around, find the corners, hold alt to drag from the middle. And now I can place this. You can keep the color as is and then just go back and set this to green. Right. Or what you can do is select the layer. So that's your Spotify logo. Go to effects. Go to color overlay and then, um, yeah, just color it. Click on the color there and you can give it a color to keep it uniform. Just like that. That way it matches with the rest. In that same vein, if you want to add more effects to that, keep it selected, click effects, go to outer glow, for example, and you can just select the color that you want. This one, click OK. We can make the size a little bigger. You can play around with all that stuff. It's up to you. And when you're done, file export as PNG. Okay. So switch the text, double click on the text, select the part that you want to change. If you somehow manage to delete this, it's completely fine. You're going to add it. Uh, it may not have the same color. You can just select the parts that you want to change the color of. Click on top here. You're going to see that white little thing here. Boom, bam, bop, boop. And now you're good doesn't quite match because the color, <laughs> the color is supposed to be that by default if you turn off the adjustment layer. So that's the default color. Basically, now if I turn it on, it works. Hopefully that makes sense for you. It is there. It's accessible. You can customize it as much as you want. I'm going to have a folder here called shape and I left it in there so you can see basically what it took for me to create this and maybe it'll inspire you a little bit. So let me turn off everything. Uh, one by one and you'll see I have a noise layer to help with the gradient. I have little lines, some little glow inserts. Boom, bam. That's the frame underneath here. I have a circular shape with some glow to give it the underglow. I have little glow inserts right there. Turn off the texture. We have some highlights on this, some shadows on this, that main frame. Bottom, I have a couple shapes and a couple glow shapes, glowing shapes. There you go. So that's how this was made. Now, you know. Now, if you actually want to animate it and set up the delays and everything, you can go to Stream Elements, for example. Streamlabs has the same thing. It's called Sponsor Banner. And you can just add a widget. We're going to go for Asset Rotator Slideshow like that. And we can add some assets. As you can see, I have some previous ones. Uh, I have videos on those. You can go check them out. 
They are also available for free on Photopea. Top right here, you're gonna see upload and you can just drag and drop the files that you have. Drop it, wait for it to upload. There you go, there's four of them. And you can submit, add asset, submit, add asset, submit, add asset, submit. If you wanna get fancy, you can go to animation settings because right now it's just fading in, fading out. I'm just gonna do whatever. Probably gonna look weird, but just to show you, you can animate that stuff. <laughs> okay, that, that doesn't look good. <laughs> Zoom out, perhaps. Yeah, it's a little bit better. And boom, congrats. You made a social media pop up. You can click save, give the overlay a name, copy the URL right there whoop, and add it in your OBS. So browser source, click plus browser source, pop up, pop up, pop up, pop. click OK, paste the link that you just copied. Click OK and it should appear. I can't see it because I have my preview disabled, but you should see it somewhere. Let me turn it on. There it is. It's that simple. I did call it slash panel. So if you want to use it as a Twitch panel, for example, you can go to your channel, make sure you're logged in to your actual account, click edit panels, go down there, click the plus to add a new panel. It, you're going to click on add a text or image panel because that's what it is. You don't need to put a title, just add image and drag and drop whatever you want. Um, YouTube, for example. Boop, drop it, cool. Make sure you don't crop anything. So make it large, click done, and then click submit. Now they might be too big. Uh, in that case, you can just when you're exporting it in photo P, you can just set up a new height, new width here, but it seems to have worked. So let's turn off edit panel right there. And we should have our little panel. Pretty cool. There you go. If you enjoyed that, make sure you subscribe. According to my stats, none of you are subscribed. I have zero subscribers <laughs> and uh, make sure you follow me on Twitch. In the meantime, thank you so much for watching. Go out there. Make me proud. Get level. Oh, we did it. We did it. Go to photop.com, click on templates, type my name in the search bar and you will find the speed overlay pack as well as the fast overlay pack. Next time that I teach you how to do something step by step, if you want to skip the step by step part, I'm going to make you pay. <laughs> Check out the link in the description if you want to have those. We have the simple ones and then we have the tilted ones and there's that one and that's it. <laughs>